Hi, Floss Tube. Hello, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I am Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching, Stitching, episode 340. 20 plus 10 plus 10 plus 100 plus 100 plus 99 plus 1 is 340 because math. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, people. Glad to have you stop by and uh, find out what we've been up to in the past week. Uh -huh. This is the Cross Stitch channel on YouTube. Yes. And uh, we've been doing this a while. 340. Mm. Wow. Yep. And that doesn't include the ones that aren't numbered. Nope. Holy cow. We've been a little, a little active. Yeah. Uh, anyway, hope, hope you hope had you're a doing, Yeah. Hope you had a great week. Yeah, hope you had a great week. Hope you're doing well. Yep. And if you are uh, not in the best place you'd like to be, maybe this will give you a little bit of a break. Yeah. We hope so. We hope so. So, all right. So, a little bit of business. StitchCon related. Uh, so, the second Spirit Wear sale is coming up shortly. Um, I don't have the exact dates in front of me, but... Um, it, just keep an eye out for it. So, I believe it starts at some point this week. So, I'll put a post up on the StitchCon Facebook page, uh, just like I did with the first sale. And also, there will be a link on the StitchCon website as well. Um, and so, just keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, and that will be the second of three pre-event sales. Um, all the items that you purchase in this sale will uh be shipped to you so yes yes so and mac has decided to awake from his slumber but he's just sitting there so he's not doing any harm uh, right yeah, now right now right, right this now moment he's just right sitting. Now. so anyway so that keep your eyes out for that if you are interested in your stitch con spirit wear oh mac's gonna finish <laughs> <laughs> No, Not really. So okay. So far, we'll just take it minute by minute. Yes, ma'am. That's what we do with Mac. Yep. Come here, baby. All right. Uh, let's do a hashtag. Is that what you said? Yes. So. Okay. Okay. Oh, you rattled the papers and you frightened the cat. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. Anyway, so our hashtag here, I just keep stitching, is hashtag Stitch Harmony. It is our attempt at connecting stitchers together. So, if you are someone who does not have a local stitching friend to you and you would like uh, our help in finding you a local friend, this is, I wish you could see what's happening. This is so funny. Mac is, Mac wants to play all the time and Millie's like, I'm good with you. So, yeah. 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 Anyway. Okay. So, we ask that you comment on our videos. Use the hashtag Stitch Harmony. Uh, tell us your name and where you live. And then we pick one of those comments every week. That's right. So. Who is this week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter, Pamela? This week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter is a lovely lady named Lorraine Armstrong. Hello. Lorraine is getting desperate, people. She is, and we want to help her in and her desperation. And we want to help her. So let's learn about Lorraine, shall yeah. we? Yes. Hashtag Stitch Harmony. Hi again. Uh-oh. My name is Lorraine Armstrong. I've done this before. But nobody contacted me, nor did I see anyone to contact. Oh, boy. I'm the bear world person. Okay. That rings a bell. Yep. It's out west. Yep. Waiting for you two to come see the bears, and I'm only two and a half hours from Shepherd's Bush. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that you are in Utah. Well, let's find out. Well, I'm just going to look up. She didn't give an actual town, does she? No, but just but look, look up Bear, Bear World. World. <laughs> We're trying, Lorraine. Bear World, Utah? Okay, so there's such a thing as Yellowstone Bear World. Well, uh, see if it's about, do a distance from, from Ogden. Okay. Look at it. Don't you worry. It is two hours and 45 minutes. That makes sense. Yes. Okay. And th this is with traffic. So, yeah. okay. Yeah. So it looks like she's up in Idaho. Okay. Because it's yeah. Yellowstone. Yeah. Bear World. So. Yeah. Um, okay. Didn't so we go to Craters of the Moon? Yes, when you were 
when small I was a small child. Was a itty child. You were a small child. When I was a wee babe. Yes. <laughs> were you ever a wee babe? I don't yes. remember that. And adorable as heck. Thank you. Pam said I was cute. And then it did a whole. Then that froze the screen. Everything stopped. The world and, then, and the world ends. <laughs> that's, wow, that's aggressive. Okay, <gasps> all right. So, um, Yellowstone Bear World looks like a grand old time. To be I fair, I think that's. I think that's where she is. And uh, it's in Rexburg, Idaho. Yeah. So. So she's she's near. Yeah. I think you're the one who found Bear World when we looked up her town. Oh, city. okay. You're the one. Okay, so again, Lorraine, I do love any handwork and appreciate you guys and all the community. I turned 70 in six days. Well, let's see. I don't know when she posted, but happy birthday. Yeah. Happy 70th, Lorraine. But she does claim that it is a young 70. But it's a young 70. Yes. That's what I'm going to say when I turn 70 in yeah. a couple of years. Yeah. Try a year and a half. Yeah. Hmm. How's that going for Lorraine, you? we're pals. Yes. Would love a stitch friend. So. All right. So if your ears perked up because you live in around nearby the driving distance of. Bear World. Bear World. A.K.A. Rexburg, Idaho. And you have room in your stitching group for sweet, sweet Lorraine. Right. Who's a young 70. Young 70. But she's trying. Okay. She really wants a friend. Okay. Yeah. I know that you people are out there. Yeah. I mean, two and a half hours from Shepherd's Bush. Come on. Right. Utah so, people. Exactly. Come on. Let's go. What's happening? Yeah. Okay. So comment on this video and say, hi, Lorraine. My name is, insert name here. I live in around nearby within driving distance of Bear World. And I would love to sit with you. <laughs> so then, of course, Lorraine, you know the drill. Just look through the comments and um, see if anyone's Let's make out. it happen for Lorraine. Let's, you know. All right. All right. Fantastic. Well, Bear World, <laughs> Stitchers, <laughs> unite. <laughs> Maybe you can have a stitch day at Bear World. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? You can all bring a bear pattern. Yeah. Oh. Aw. Can we come? That'd be so cute. Nope. That would be good. I mean, I want to ride the rides. I'm not, I'm not going to sit and stitch. Are there rides at Bear World? Pam. It's a, it's a happening place. Are apparently. there rides at not Bear World? Not only are there bears, but there are, are rides. Are there rides at <gasps> Bear World? Oh, we need to go. There are. If we can get to Shepherd's Bush, we can get to Bear World. I mean, Really? I think it. I think it's a must. I mean, do I need to know between I'm, between the I know Shepherd's that, Bush retreat and Stitch West in October. I think a trip to Bear World. Is, I think a trip to Bear World. All right, is listen. Order. So I know this is about cross stitch. So just if you don't like it, then get over it. Yellowstone Bear World drive through wildlife park. Uh huh. No vacation to the Yellowstone National Park or Grand Teton National Park region is complete without an adventure into the wild at Yellowstone Bear World. A drive through wildlife park. During your visit, you will be surrounded by free roam wildlife of North America. We're going. As you drive. We're hold, please. Pam, this looks incredible. I know. And in the meantime, you come for the cross stitch. You stay for the tourist information. 100%. Correct? So it says, during your visit, you'll be surrounded by free roaming wildlife of North America as you drive your personal vehicle through the park. Wildlife you will see include, wait for this, Rocky Mountain Elk. Love it. Bison. Love it. White-tailed deer. Love it. Mule deer. Love it. Rocky Mountain goats. Oh! Moose. Oh! And of course, American black bear and grizzly bear. Located five miles south of Rexburg, Idaho on U.S. Highway 20, we are easily accessible from both Jackson Hole, Wyoming and West Yellowstone, Montana. When you visit this beautiful region, don't miss Idaho's number one wildlife attraction, Yellowstone Bear World. They're only open. Pan, they're closed oh, oh, when we go shit. in October. They're only open April 20th through May 5th. Well, that's just a... Really? Piss. April to May? That's it? Dates April 20th through May 5th. That's what this says. That doesn't sound right. Pam, I'm just reading what their website says, okay? Somebody check on the bears, will you? <laughs> Somebody. What happens the rest of the damn year? I mean... To they, the bears. They've got to be there. The bears must be there. That's the, redonkulous. It is. Anyway. Investigate, will you? Seriously, we need to know what's happening with the bears. All right. All right. In the meantime, while you're checking into Bear World. Yes. <laughs> that means it's time for Pam's pin comment. Pam's pin comment is the one comment of all the comments on last week's video that made my day. Yes. I don't think we can butcher that. Nope, we can't. Okay. Oh, he's 
piece of paper. Okay. Uh, this is Pam's pin comment for this week. Mm -hmm. And it comes from, I'm going to say, Dana Elkins 2046. Yeah. That's how I'm breaking up your name. Not if that's Dana incorrect. Elkins. <laughs> no, no, Dana, I think that's it. Hi, Dana. And this is what she wrote. How lucky you are to have such a beautiful friend who would stitch and finish that lovely piece for more friends for you. Amen. Spring is here and summer just around the corner, although maybe it's already arrived in Ohio. Yes, AC in April? Crazy. So while it's nice to consider a romantic sleigh ride, I think maybe a pickup truck with the moonroof open mm. and some Alan Jackson belting out way down yonder on the Chattahoochee. Yes, ma'am. It gets hotter than a coochie coochie. Would be more appropriate for the season. Turn it up. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> All right, Dana. Isn't that a great comment? That is a great comment. We love yeah. our commenters. We do. So what did you do with the Dana Elkins' comment, Pam? As I do with all of Pam's pinned comments. Yes. It was bumped up to be pinned at the very, very tippy top. Love that for you so, and Dana. There you go. Beautiful. All righty. Awesome. Let's get ready for our next sound effect, Stephanie. Sorry, I'm a little behind. Okay, hope please. I'm keeping an eye on the back line. Yeah, we're trying to. Yeah. <coughs> All right, ready? Yeah. That means it's time for silver and gold, which yes. is our floss tube shout outs for the week. Yep. And from now until StitchCon 2024, we are highlighting floss tubers who are coming to StitchCon, either mm -hmm. Weekend A or Weekend B. Yes. And this week, we want to make sure you go over and check out our Silver Floss Tuber. She's been making um, videos since August of 2021. So okay. she's not brand spanking yeah. new, but yeah. she's relatively new. Exactly. And um, might not be um, someone that, you have found yet so right. you need to go check out olivia yes at southern Thank yankee you. stitcher olivia lives in south carolina uh -huh. and she's made 48 videos uh since she started she's so olivia sweet. is the sweetest yes and uh she loves going to retreats and she loves coming to stitch con and uh, we love her to pieces She's got a variety of projects, yeah. and um, she stitches for her family, her daughters, mm -hmm. and um, so forth and so on. And she's coming back to StitchCon, yes. so yes. she's a returnee. Uh, Southern Yankee mm -hmm. Stitcher, Stitcher, Olivia. Yes. And then our Gold Floss Tuber has been making videos... Wait for this. ...since April of 2019, so it. quite a while. That's... Yep. Five years. It is. Um, her man. name is Michelle, and her channel name is Day Before Michelle. Yep. I'm not sure where that comes from, Michelle. So I'll be talking to you at StitchCon and trying to figure out what that means. I'm sure she explained it in some one of her early videos. I know, I know, and one that maybe I haven't caught. Okay. But um, she lives in Canal Winchester, which is southeast of Columbus, Ohio. So she's just up the road. Great. And. Um, she has been um, uh, stitching a lot of different, uh, you want to check out her whip parade. She's yeah. got a wide variety of projects. Yes. And she's coming back as well. She came last year. We love her returner. And she did, a re uh, she did a video showing all the projects that she was thinking she would bring to StitchCon. But cool. as we all know, there's, uh, compared to the talking Correct. and the visiting and the laughing and the eating, yes. um, the stitching oftentimes takes a back seat, but that's okay. the way we love it. We do. So, so go check both of those girls out, okay? Go check out Michelle and Olivia. They are great. Yes. Okay, let's talk stitching, shall we? Okay, let's do that. What have you been stitching this week, Steph? Well, let me show you. All right, so I, um, if you were here last week and you heard me talk about my Whipco projects, so... I just finished up. I worked like the rest of the day on Sunday um, uh, on my first Whipco pull for April, which is Red Fox Vineyard. Sorry about the glare from Artful Offerings. Mm -hmm. And um, I just finished up his like tuxedo front. So um, it's not a lot different than what you saw last week, but. 
um, he looks he looks fully dressed. Okay, he looks like we love he, a fully dressed fox. We do, we do. So this is on forty count in some mystery color. I don't know what it's called uh, by Fiber on a Whim. So so you got his buttons in. I got his buttons in. Yes, ma'am. And then there's like this line of like cream that goes on the inside that I did too. Mm -hmm. So, but you can really tell that he's like looking behind he's it. So now. cute. Oh, I love him so much. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that was just a little to kind of sort of close the, close the book close on, out that, the rotation one. on yep. that one. Close out the rotation on that one. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so then I pulled out my second Whipgo piece. And if you remember, um, when I talked about both of these projects, I had mentioned that when I pulled them both out, they both had the same amount of progress on them. So it was like literally one thread on each project. So, um, so that's where I was with my second whip go and, um, my second whip go project is from a Christmas piece from heart and hand. And it is from the square dance Christmas square dance series from heart and hand. And I am going to be doing this situation. So with the border that says home for the holidays, and then I'm choosing three blocks to go inside it. So, um, and so this border that says home for the holidays, that is available on the heart and hand website. So you can go there. I will link it below. And then, so like my goal for April was to get that whole border in the three red blocks and then the words home for the holidays and I am gonna absolutely hit that goal so I am stitching this on 36 count vintage country mocha um, by Spygart and that's what I have now so we got all the words on the bottom yep and I'm almost done with the blocks so you pick the three that you're going to I conclude. Have. Would you like you, me to tell you the ones that I'm and doing? And then tell me what order I'm doing arrangement you've decided on. Okay. So the first block. So you personalized it, in other words. Yes, ma'am, I have. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So I'm doing two from book one. And I'm doing the home Love that Blocked. one. Blocked. Mm -hmm. So, because it's home for the holidays, home for Christmas, all the things. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to do home. Mm -hmm. And that's going to go first. Okay. Okay. Then the second box is going to be wrap. Love it. I love her. Mm -hmm. and, and that's going to go second. Mm -hmm. Focus. Okay. And then the third block is going to be the frolic block and that's going to go third mm -hmm. but I'm changing the word frolic to jolly okay so it's going to say home wrap jolly and I think on one of these other yeah you just didn't like the word frolic nope didn't like it at all oh. so see on this block that says jolly okay I'm going to take him Transpose off there yep over. yep okay yep so there's so many things and options that you can do with this square dance series. I mean, you can stitch them all together. You could stitch them like mm -hmm. I'm stitching them as ornaments, as yep. flat folds. As so yeah, there's a ton of different options. And so um, it's, you know, very versatile, makes for great smalls exchange pieces, all the things. So um, just lost our light. Okay. 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 So, um, so I don't really know like which one I'm going to start like working on first. Oh, you wouldn't just typically go left. I mean, right? maybe that's the right, right way to do it, but I don't know. We'll okay. see. Um, I know that I, I know that I, I feel like chronologically it makes the most sense for home to go first. Then you wrap the gifts, then you distribute the gifts. Oh, okay. See? 
Okay. That's what makes sense in my brain. Okay. Well, whatever makes sense in your brain. Okay. So, and, but I will say that I feel like the frog block, I could probably get done the fastest. Ah. So, I don't know. We'll see. Stay okay. tuned. Stay tuned for that. So, that is what I've been working on. And you're going to work on that till the end of the month. I sure am. Lucky you. Yes. So. You should see some progress next I week. I would hope to think so. So, that is what I've been working on this week. What about you, Pam? You have what have all, you know, all Cecilia's colors? Yes. You have them all pulled? Yes. Already? Yeah. I have them for the whole series pulled. Very good. Uh, so, all right. What have you been doing, Pam? Okay. Uh, let's see. Shall we? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so, I've been doing the uh, snapshots from Pine Needle as my monthly marker series. Yes. One for each month. And um, <clears throat> really, I just need to finish it before the end of April and uh, for oh, May. Oh, you'll do that. And I'm I'm on the home stretch already. <laughs> so cute. So I've left it in the Q snap, and I was able to do. I guess the last time I either posted or showed it in a video, I just had the first section with the front yep. of the bicycle because yep. remember we talked about spokes and everything or the lack thereof. Mm -hmm. So I got <clears throat> the banner that says May. It's very faint, but it's there. Yep, it's so pretty. And then, oh, no, you had, yeah, you had the flowers, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the crock with the uh, flowers in it, I finished. Uh, so week. cute. So, um, so what's the last little bit? The last little oh. section is a couple of gardening tools and a gotcha. hand with a gardening glove on it. It's very cute. Gotcha. Which will go right there. Yes. They're all the same size, all the same dimensions. Yep. Very, very so, cute. Yeah. So I love this. Worked on that. Awesome. Super fun. Yep. Love the colors. Here, gotcha. And then Next. Um, the uh, Patriots Day start, Woo. which is now uh, technically a whip. Yep. Is, uh, and I started this on Monday, Patriots Day last mm -hmm. week, is Liberty Hill Inn from Little House Needleworks. Sorry for the glare. This was one that I kitted up for Pam for Christmas. Yes. Look at that little Paul Revere. Oh, he's just so freaking cute. Is that over one? Yes. Oh, of course. Yeah, the over one. And um, I'm doing yes. this on 32 count vintage light exemplar from mm -hmm. Lakeside. So, um, I didn't really get too much, but I got to a, a logical, so pretty. logical uh, stopping point. Yeah. So I got the top leafy border done cute. with the three blue stars in the middle. Cute, cute, cute. So, yeah. Love it. So obviously, the bigger yeah. part of the design is the uh, the inn yeah, itself. Yeah, obviously, yeah. And yeah. so, yeah. So cute. So that's as wide as it's going to be. Yes. Cute. Yes. Awesome. So, uh, I don't know that I've ever stitched on Lakeside before. Pam, you say that every time, but you have a praiseworthy stitches. Oh, that's winter right. Winter one on Lakeside. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. I have to tell her that every time. Yep, you do. And then... And I'll tell you till the end of time. Pam. My second whip go call for April... Yes. ...is a piece that I have always admired. It was a... He stitched by one of Keepsakes' longtime customers, and she sadly passed away. Uh, but it hung over the fireplace in the front room of Keepsakes yeah. for years, mm -hmm. almost for as long as I can remember going to Keepsakes. Yep. And um, I'm trying to think of that woman's name, doesn't matter. But anyway, Maggie. Uh, Maggie, yeah. Um, Barbara called her Mags. Mm -hmm. uh, she was kind of a serial starter. And uh, so there are more than one uh, piece that hangs in keepsakes that were stitched by mm -hmm. um, Maggie. In fact, this shepherd's bush right here mm -hmm. was uh, started by Maggie, uh, checkered sheep. Mm -hmm. And uh, Barbara knew about my love of game boards, and she asked me if I would finish it. There wasn't really much to finish, but it was one that Maggie never got around to finishing. And so yep. most so of the stitching of this is a mag's piece. Mm -hmm. But this hung uh, at Keepsakes, and I love the verse. It's uh, Nantucket Girl Sampler from Plum Street. And 
I just love the verse. I just love the verse. Mm -hmm. um, and I had made a piddly little start on this. Piddly. Um, piddly. Um, this is uh, being stitched on 32 count <coughs> alabaster from x Designs. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be huge. I think Paulette said the model was stitched on 40 count. Right. And I'm doing it on 32. So right. it's, it's going to be huge. Yeah. So um, I had, as was my practice whenever, I had, in lieu of starting in the upper left-hand corner, I had decided, because there was a well-defined line of stitching across the middle, yeah. that I would basically fold my fabric in half. Yeah. Um, and put a line of stitching in, whatever it called for. Yeah. Um, that was how I started it. And that's all that basically I had stitched on this. Mm -hmm. So it was a good candidate for Wipto. Mm -hmm. And I started with that chain of stitches and worked my way up to the top. Mm -hmm. So I feel really good about. You should. It looks amazing about what I got done, and I still have another week to work on it. Oh, boy. I even worked on it this morning. So I got up to the corner. Stephanie's better at this than I am. Um, with the pot and plant and bird. And then I went over last night. We were watching television, and I started in on the uh, title. Mm -hmm which is actually Nantucket Girl's song. Mm -hmm. And then the first stanza of the verse. And the song. first stanza of the verse, which yes. says, in case you're wondering, it says, Then I'll haste to wed a sailor and send him off to sea, <coughs> for a life of independence is the pleasant life for me. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Love it. Yes and love yes. Love it, love it, love it. <coughs> so... It's been fun to watch this come to life. And, yes, and it you're, really has. And you're stitching it and in all the called for needlepoint silks as yeah, well. Yeah, needlepoint silks on the extrude fabric. Yep. And you should have picked a bigger bag, ma'am. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Just trying to help you out here, you know? All right. And this. It doesn't matter how it's folded because I'm going to take it right out well, later. I know that, but I'm just saying, I don't. I want to. I want to be nice to it. I want to be unkind. Okay. Be nice to your project. Yes, especially someone else's project. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Especially your mother's project. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So those are our whips of the week. Love that. All right. Okay. Bring in the bell. Bring in the bell. Well, it was about this time last year mm -hmm. when. Something possessed me to calculate that it had been 30 years yep. since my dreaded breast cancer diagnosis. Mm -hmm. I was 38 years old. I had two small children and a... Uh, unhealthy marriage. <laughs> unhealthy marriage. Oh, that's a really good way of putting it. Um, and so I thought, well, I'm going to mark that in some way. Mm. And so Steph and I started looking at... <coughs> Pardon me. Breast cancer patterns. Mm -hmm. Some of whom I had in my stash. Others were new to me. Um, and some appealed to me, some didn't. But when I landed on this one from Praiseworthy Stitches, mm -hmm. I knew this was the one. Mm -hmm. And about this time, last year, and my diagnosis was in early June. Yeah. Um, my stupid husband said at the time... <laughs> stupid ex-husband, no. Yeah. Said at the time, because my birthday is also in June, he says, we'll be all through this by your birthday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, I thought, well, this, this we can kind of kick off at StitchCon, mm -hmm. right? Which is always in June. So, um, I don't have a picture of the pattern, but I think you you've seen it one. enough. You're showing them the finished process. Project. You don't need a picture of it. No, I don't. So here is simple 
Gifts. Gifts. Forgot that word. Mm -hmm. Courage. Sorry. Sorry for the crease. And I used uh, the call for colors on a piece of even um, weave called Anya um, from Leslie at Under the Sea. And this has been my focus piece. I want it to be pretty much close to a finish, if not a finish, by this time this year, 2024. Yep. yep. And um, it's amazing. Pam. I posted about this finish on Instagram. Yep. So you saw what my feelings were at the time. Yeah. And my appreciation for everybody in the community who jumped on with yeah. this sell. Um, it's been crazy. I mean, it, it, we had we had no idea mm -mm. that it was going to be. I was totally blown away. Yeah. So, totally, totally blown away. And a huge thank you. I mean, I know that Pam has said her thank yous too, but as the amount of people that purchased patterns yeah. and supplies through keepsakes is been was amazing yeah. so and continues to and be continues. amazing it so. seems like i mean maybe no more after today but up until today's well, actually, video uh, we were still people selling were still patterns calling so. keepsakes for the for the chart and we still have charts <clears throat> up on the website for sale yeah. so yeah um, so i thoroughly amazing. enjoyed it yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, someone pointed out something that i had already noticed there are a couple of smaller motifs in the Quaker design that uh, did not transfer from the chart mm. to the model stitch on the cover. To me, it was no big deal. Uh, I wasn't going to go back and right. worry about it. It was yeah. a heart and a star or something like that. I so they care. were charted, but they weren't stitched on the cover model? Is that what you're no, saying? they weren't charted, but they appeared oh. in the cover photo. Oh, that's interesting. Um, and so... You know, don't be surprised if you if you find that it's on the lower third of the design. It's oh, well. not a big deal. Sure. To me, it wasn't a big deal. Right, right, right. So, um, well, that's great, Pam. So, so with that being finished, that means that I am now ready to take some framing jobs up mm -hmm. to Paula at Craft Gallery. Yes. Yep. And that is also planned for later this week. Yes, ma'am. But in the meantime, happy, happy finishes, finishes, everyone. everyone. All right. All right. That. So this. Yep. Okay. So speaking of things mm -hmm. being in a final form, um, I had completely forgotten that I sent this to Keepsakes mm -hmm. via Stephanie to have fully finished. And this is um, exactly as pictured on the design. Yep. It is from the Scarlet House. Mm -hmm. And it is called Colonial Blooms, yep. and I bought the board that is called for. Yeah, from Homestead, New York. From I think. Homestead, and so this came home with Stephanie the other day. Isn't it so pretty? And it is not arched in the photo yeah. on the pattern. Barbara, so, like in the photo, it's <clears throat> cut straight across. Yeah, Barbara arched it, mm -hmm. which I think adds to. See. Yeah. I believe this was 36 yep. count. Mm -hmm. Um and black it was swan that or black swan from uh Fox and Rabbit. Yep. Yeah. Which and is a lovely dark gray to stitch on. Lovely, lovely. And when Barbara asked me how Pam wanted it, yeah. Um I opted, she said she could put a tie up here for it to hang. She could just leave it as is on the board to put in an easel. Or she could put a little foot on it. So yeah. Barbara added a little foot, which is awesome. Yeah, so, so it can sit on a shelf, and I love it. I love it. Just like that. Just there like you that. Go. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. So that is um, <clears throat> Colonial Blooms. That is Colonial Blooms. So that's an FFO. Yeah. Yep. And so I which will say great. that you providing... The board yeah and not like the picture didn't have any trim on it didn't have any anything nope. on it nope. so basically it was just the putting of it putting it together and the foot so yeah. it was a very inexpensive i truly think anything added to it would take away from the stitch i do too yeah you know yeah. that's what paula always says you know don't don't pick a frame mm -hmm. that is so uh, demanding of your attention yeah that that's all you see right that you don't see the stitching yeah yeah perfect there we go so uh i'm thrilled with that and um hey 
that was fun to get back even after I forgot that I sent it. So. And I feel like you can keep it up for spring and for summer because it's Absolutely. kind of patriotic Absolutely. at the time. So. Yeah, it anyway. was one of my uh, scheduled starts last year. I believe. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I kitted so, that up for you for Christmas one year. That's right. That's so, right. Yay. All okay. Right. Wonderful. Uh... Promotions! Welcome to the Triple P. That's right. Promotional portion of the program. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. You're going to do this. Take that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first and foremost, we have the So Much to Love project bag of the month and this is <laughs> of course the april bag welcome to april everyone and so if this is the first time you've seen us do a sort of unboxing of the bag of the month the project bag of the month uh basically what the situation is is it is a monthly club and we get a wonderful package delivered to our door once a month from so much to love it is a exclusive project bag to the members of the club, but in addition to the beautiful project bag, we also get it chock a block full of wonderful, wonderful goodies. So, um, let me go through the goodies first. We always get a bag of stash tea. This month it is double bergamot Earl Grey. Love it. Yum yum. We also got a assorted bag of jelly bellies. <coughs> oh, that. We also got one of my all-time favorite tools of cross-stitch, which is the Snag Nabbit. Always in reach. Always. If Always you don't know what reach. this is, there is a Stay Home with Steph video from 2020 mm -hmm. where I talk about my favorite cross-stitch tools, and I just rant and rave about the Snag Nabbit. Cannot is, be without it. Cannot. Cannot. And that is where Karen, from So Much Love, learned about the Snag Nabbit. It was from one of my videos. When I did the Stay Home with Stuff series, yep. and we it's been included in a project bag of the month now for numerous years, and I'm honored so much every time she does. So we got that. We also got these three lovely DMC colors here, mm -hmm. and every not every month, but a lot of months, we get an exclusive chart that is designed just for this particular club, something to sort of go on theme with the whole situation. So. It is April, we're talking spring, all the things, and this month we are so excited because the uh, pattern, uh, exclusive pattern for this club is from our girls at Twin Peak Primitives, and the pattern is Garden of Sheep. Love it. I think it's so cute. I love the finish too. Yeah, I was just going to say I love the finish. I like the stitches between mm -hmm. the fabric and the... Yeah. And I think you need those buttons. Well, they're very cute. Yeah. So, um, I, I'm i not sure where those buttons come from, to be honest. Um, uh, there's... Oh, a, yeah. There's a company... Yeah. Yeah. There is. Yep. Yeah, that if makes sense. If we think them, of it, between now and the description box, we'll put it in. But even if... Even... Um, if you had like other sheep buttons or oh, flower yeah. buttons oh, yeah. they or something. They don't need to be those buttons yeah. and they don't need to be sheep buttons. Right. But exactly. The buttons are very cute. Yeah. Yes. And I'm pretty sure that the DMC colors go with this. Yeah. So that's great. These here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. uh, so if you haven't guessed the theme for the month of April is sheep. So this is the April project bag of the month from so much Love. Look at them. Isn't that cute? Look at those little shapies. Oh, I just love them so much. And I love the like dark fabric up here and the sort of Maybe bright. blue and brown. It's a great so pretty. Um, and then this little pop of coral here with the hand sewn start detail. Start hand sewn heart detail. Right. Thank you. Uh, and then, of course, all the sheepies on the back. Mm -hmm. And then look at the inside, you guys. Boof. Yeah, cute. So, so well coordinated. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. So, a huge thank you to Karen and right. to the twins and all the things. Mm -hmm. um, and so, if you are not in a club and you want this bag, if she has extras, then she will list them in her Etsy shop, uh, which is so much to love. 
and uh, I will of course link that Etsy shop below and yeah. then you can favorite the shop and keep an eye on all the things so absolutely so <laughs> that is the so much love project bag of the month and then we also have for promotions our Twin Peak Primitives pattern of the week so every week we discuss with the twins and figure out a pattern that we love, that they love, that we think that you will love, whether it's new, old, somewhere in between, and we make it 20% off. So what is this week's pattern of the week, Pam? This is an inaugural seasonal uh, pattern that they're starting. Okay. It's in the works. Yep. And this is the first one released. Yep. And so we're going from sheep to strawberries. <laughs> we love it. And it's called Miss Strawberry. Yes. And we're going to insert a picture here. Yeah. Isn't she adorable? Oh, we love her so much. We love her so much. I also really love strawberries, so there's that. Yeah. Uh, but, so, this is going to be the first in four. Mm -hmm. We have seen digital renderings of the three remaining seasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the model stitchers are working on them. They're so cute. Yeah. They're adorable. <gasps> yeah. Oh, they're amazing. So if you love a series, yes. grab Miss Strawberry and wait exactly. for the other three because they're going to they're gonna be coming down the pike here. Yeah. Any, and I'm sure that time. when they are fully released that we will have them as a pattern oh, of the week. Oh, absolutely. Because yeah. they're so cute. Yeah. So... Uh, if you love Miss Strawberry as much as we love Miss Strawberry, mm -hmm. then uh, you can get your discounted copy of Miss Strawberry from, you can get a discounted PDF from the Twin Peak Primitives website or Etsy shop. Mm -hmm. Or if you'd prefer to have a hard copy of the pattern, that is totally fine too. Yeah. However, the only place you can get a discounted hard copy is from the TPP Limited Editions Etsy shop. That's right. Okay. Yeah. All of that stuff is linked below. Yeah. There's no code, no dance, no anything yeah. you have to do. You just have one week to grab the discount. Right. So. All right. Go get you one. Yes. We do not have any of this. Okay. So uh, we're going to. And all you have, that's all it, it for that. Yep. Okay. So um, we're going to jump to haul. Yep. No mail call this week. And um, just to let you know. Yes. That. Um, we took advantage of uh, some things coming into Chantel's shop. Yes. And uh, we love Chantel, as you We do. love her so much. And she came up with a couple of display boards. Yeah. That... Um, for finishing. That you use for finishing. Uh -huh. And uh, I... Loved them so much, I wanted both sizes. Mm -hmm. So I got one of each size. Yep. And um, it's kind of hard to tell. Her front picture looks like that, which is the basic. Yes. But what I liked about them, let me see if I can take this out. Why don't you just show them from the back? Well, this is what I liked about it. The bobbin hole at the top. Mm -hmm. So these are totally finishable, like painting or staining mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. And then she gives you the little cutout yeah. that you can bobbin. do with as you will. Yeah. And so I got this is um, this is the smaller of the two sizes <coughs> offered. Yep. yep. And uh, yeah, you can see like if you wanted to put the little doodad down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. As I've also can. seen people here give me the board. Yeah. I've also seen people because this is what you do. Yeah. Oh, please. Yeah. Show it off. Yep, I sure will. So it's my understanding. Well, Stephanie. Okay. Basically, it goes like this. Yeah. Right. Right. And then I've seen people like put the little bobbin thing like over here with like ribbons and stuff too. Yeah. As like an embellishment situation. Mm -hmm. So I'm not a finisher. I don't want to break it. Right. So yeah. Um, and so I got the larger size as well. It's a little taller. 
Now, Teresa Colgate has a great design. Uh, it was offered to Patreon. So I think it was released at market. Yeah, it was. The, the lady with the oath. big skirt. Needleworkers Oath. Needleworkers Oath. And I think it will go on this larger one. I do believe so, they're correct. So I mean, that, unless you were to stitch it on like 40 count. Then it right. Would go on a so that was pretty much my impetus for getting yeah. uh, the boards. Yes. So we will, of course, so link. Those, those came in the mail this week. And I have, I have to say that her shipping is like 12 out of 10. Oh, yeah. Everything is so well packaged. This and woman is a pro, man. I yeah. Mean, she seriously. just... And this is called the Bender Board Collection. Yep. So there you go. We'll we'll link it all. Of course. Hello. Yep. Absolutely. All right. So oh, well, <coughs> hold on. Don't have my thing ready. Hold please. Add to cart. Excellent. Alrighty. All right. So now it is time for the giveaway situation. Right. So um. Whenever we do a giveaway on this channel, we all I always record myself giving away the pattern or bundle or whatever it happens to be. And so I will insert the video of me giving away this week's giveaway here. Hello, people, and welcome to the giveaway portion of the program. Today... We are giving away the Signs of Christmas, sorry about the glare, Reindeer Sleigh Ride from Annie B's Folk Art. This is number four in the series, I believe. I think so. So, we are giving this away to one lucky winner, and we asked you all to, uh, if you wanted to win, to put your name excuse me, in the comments using the word, where is it, where is it, where is it, ride. Put the word ride in your comment. So, let's see who did that. All right, so that is the URL for the video. And keyword filter. I'm going to put in R-I-D-E for ride. Continue. Let's see how many comments we have. 91 comments that use the word ride. All right, let's pick a winner. Jeanette Lee, 1973. I like to ride on the wild side. I love that for you, Jeanette. Congratulations, ma'am. You have won the Signs of Christmas reindeer sleigh ride. Sleigh ride. All right. So, uh, Jean, I, I'm just assuming that your name is, your first name is Jeanette. So, if not, let us know. Uh, but in the description box of our videos, there is an email address for Pam. That's Pam. And uh, Jeanette, send her an email with your mailing address, and we will get this in the mail to you. Thank you all so much for all of your wonderful comments and submissions, and I will send you back to regularly scheduled programming now. Bye! So, congratulations to Jeanette Lee. And like I said in the video, I'm assuming that your name is Jeanette Lee. Um, and what? Why wouldn't it be? I mean, I don't know. Oh, okay. I mean, maybe it's her mom's name. I don't know. Okay. Um, but obviously, if it's something different than that, let us know. Um, so, all the instructions are below for you and are in that video as to how to claim your winnings from last week. So, Super cute. Yes. All right. And then, so, over the last few months, we have gotten um, different packages and things from people Um of patterns and things to give away. And so we yep. thought that in, um, we would start doing that. Yeah. So, um, just leading up to StitchCon and then probably won't do giveaway in like, whatever. Anyway, doesn't yeah. matter. For now. <laughs> For now. Uh, so this week we have three different, um, pairs of patterns, uh, for this week's giveaways right so listen up okay mm -hmm. so uh these are all springtime related more or less so very seasonal very in the moment yes okay all right so the first two patterns the first one is from bent creek called gnomes in the garden row 
Look at them all just getting all their gardening done. <laughs> if they can come to my house and do this, that'd be great too. So this pattern will travel with the Berry Basket Strawberry from Hands On Design. Right. So if you would like to be entered to win this or any of the giveaways, there will be a keyword that you must use. Right. And for this set, the keyword is berry. B E R R Y. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Prepare number one. Yes. Berry. Yes. Use it in a sentence. Yes, ma'am. Don't just put berry. All right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll let you put all that over there. All right. Then the second pair is. More on the floral theme. Okay. <laughs> this is from Country Cottage Needle Works, and this is called Summer Garden. Don't mind my snoring cat. Thank you so much. Uh, and the words on this say, it, like, it's the alphabet, but it has some of the words spelled out, like bluebell, daisy, hydrangea, lilac, peony, rose, and violet. Nice. So. Very, very cute. Plus, it's got a cat and a bunny, so you're winning all the way around. Right. And then, this other, the one that it will be shipped with is from Petal Pusher called While Away the Hours. And it says, I could while away the hours conferring with the flowers. I love that bee. It's so cute. So, uh, these two will travel together. Mm-hmm. And the keyword to put in your comment to be entered to win this bundle is flower. Yep. F L O W E R. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then the third and final pair for this video. The first chart is from Thistles, and this is called To the Easter Party. Look at them. They are ready to go to the Easter Party. Okay. <laughs> To the East Party. So, um, okay, and so this is number chart number one, and then its pair is from Plum Street Samplers, and this is called the Milk and Cream Co. Look at her in her little cow situation. <laughs> so cute. I love this one. So, if you would like to get these patterns together, then your keyword is just because this ought to be funny cow <laughs> as in c o w all right yeah so uh you you can uh enter for all three yeah pairs we can write a sentence using all three words if you if you want uh but you can only win one okay yeah. just to make it fair yeah you can live anywhere in the entire universe and uh, you must be a subscriber to this channel. We will check. And then uh, you must be uh, at least 18 years of age or older. Okay? Uh, so that way we can legally get your address. Right. So, and then we will give them away next week. Right. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. So check back. Yeah. You know. Yep. To see yep. if you won next yes. week. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. Let's thank some people, Pam. Let's thank a few people. Nice. Um, we had several very generous donations this past week. We sure did. And we sincerely appreciate it. Yes. We want to thank Jana M. Thank yes. you very much, Jana. Monica. Thank you, Monica. Thanks, Monica. Julie. Thank you, Julie. Jana H, as in ham. <laughs> thank you, Jana Ham. <laughs> And Petra, thank you so much, yes. all five ladies. Yes. Very, very much. That will come in very handy when you go to craft gallery. When I go to craft gallery and pick out frames. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Love that. Um, so if you are so inclined yes. to uh, financially, monetarily show your thanks for our content, uh, then yeah. there are links to both the our Buy Me a Coffee page and the uh, Ko-Fi accounts below. It is obviously not necessary, not mandatory, no. not required. Just a gesture. Uh, but just a gesture of thanks. Absolutely. So, uh, and, yeah. Okay. 
So we're uh, up to plans yep. for the coming week. Do you have any plans for the coming week? Well, I sure do. So mm -hmm. we have a Citron meeting on Monday. And I work a lot next week. Yeah. Because uh, Susan's going on a couple of retreats. So. so there you go. Very exciting. Um, I will be stitching. Yep. And on... Friday, I'm going to drive up to Finley. Yep. Stephanie has to work, but yep. I'm going to take uh, my Courage yep. and the Wizard of Oz characters and the Monopoly. Yep. Those three are going to go to Paula. Do I have anything in the, under the bed box that can go with me? Well, possibly. We can look, but those three for sure. Yeah. Those three for sure. Okay, great. I love um, that for you. Also, I wanted to share that I am joining up with uh -oh. Stitchy Linda. Linda in Florida, Linda in Ocala. Yes. And she is starting hosting a sale of the uh, four drawn thread charts that begin with simple samplers and simply autumn, winter, spring, and well, I didn't say them in order, but all, okay. four, all four all seasons. All four seasons are there, I promise. Um, Here, and, I'll show them the back up yeah, close. Yeah, show them the see. back. That's what I am going to be uh, doing. Yep. Um, with not much, not at all, any variation. Nope. Of, um, oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Of the original layout. Yep. Um, we, Stephanie and I, played with a lot of fabrics. Mm. And this is what we came up with. It calls for it to be done in dirty, which is the same fabric that she used for Albie Home, if right. you remember that. And this is very close. Yes. It is one of Rachel's fabrics. Yep, we love um, it. And uh, we got needle, needle and flax fabric. Mm. And we got a lot of flack, mm. <laughs> speaking of flax and flack. When we first showed the receipt of this piece of fabric it's a 32 count and i will never forget this as long as i live mackinaw fudge so these are nope, nope. this is mackinac no it's pronounced mackinaw oh it's pronounced you really, might not okay. have read all the comments that no, came in after i said mackinac no um anyway so well, I, like, whatever i stand corrected Thank you. And so mine is going to go on this, really pretty. on this fabric. This is going to look really great, I And think. I'm going to be starting with fall. Fall. I love autumn. That. Did they call autumn. it autumn? So, yeah, it's autumn. Yeah. So I'm starting with great. autumn. Awesome. Which is uh, probably on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Here, Pam. I'm starting with autumn. Yep. I pulled the colors for all four seasons. I love it. Yep. So pretty. And so, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Yeah, it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be gorgeous. I'm very excited. Okay. The sale officially <laughs> starts on the 25th. Okay. So, that's this week. There you go. And um, Great. I'm excited to join Linda with this. Linda and I are of the same vintage in terms of age and stitching. And um, if you would like to join us, um, the hashtag is simply awesome Sal. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. And um, I did a stash dive back a while ago uh, of all the drawn thread yep. uh, charts I have. So this there was no excuse right. for me not exactly. to join up. Yep. So yep. I'm excited. Great. Um, and uh, I just learned of another sal i can't stop what are um, you? you have the church Remember that i system? think is being hoist hoisted yeah hoisted Ho hoisted being hoisted by joy of um carolina stitchers yeah. and it's called building blocks and it is um gonna is that be the, starting is that the hashtag uh i think so building block sal and okay. it's um Starting May 1st, so I'll have more details on that um, when it gets closer. Um, farther down the road, uh -huh. 
I am going to be hosting a sale. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, don't talk about that yet. Well, I'm going to be hosting it uh, during the traditional Stitchers Christmas in July. That's all I'm going okay. to say. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, thanks. So, um, I, I'm not going to give that I don't want to start a frenzy yet. before we need to, no, before we, we are able to, to handle the frenzy. No, we don't want to start a... <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, um, more on that as we get closer. Yeah. But, um, cool, all cool. kinds of sales happening. All kinds so, of sales. Welcome to Just Keep Stitching. Seriously. Yep. All right. Well, that's going to do it. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah. Um, and we will see you in a week. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you uh, jump on over and get your pattern of the week. Yep. And go check out our silver and gold floss tubers. Mm -hmm. And um, if you have been doing um, 24 hours of cross stitch this weekend. Well, power uh, to you. Hope you had a blast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hope you had a blast. So um, we'll see you next week. Yes. Happy stitching, everybody. Yes. In the meantime, I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. stitching. Bye. Bye.